How do you make strategic thinking more implementation friendly? Oh, that's a good question. Um, and it's, it's the, the first question that, um, that anybody who's sort of in a UX management role will, will ask when they learn design thinking um, or design strategy or, or any of these fancy buzzwords um, is, is how do you make it actionable? Um, and tractable. And I think the answer has a lot to do with the way that you tie it directly to the wants and needs of the different stakeholders. Um, uh, and so um, gross generalizations don't work, uh, heuristics don't work, best, pr best practices don't work. Um, the, the things a designer does have to be buried in the minutia of details related to the stakeholders in order to get traction and buy-in. And um, typically that means um, uh, understanding numbers and finances and uh, goals and metrics. Um, and it's a lot of the stuff that designers typically sneer at and go like, that's not my wheelhouse, I don't like it, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, but that's how you take a, a design strategy and, and you create something that's implementable, attractable. The equivalent in software is, uh, is instead, you know, like you can write abstractions, you know, different requirements or wireframes, but, but if you want it to be tractable, go write some code. I mean, like erase all the erase all the little middle you know uh, metaphors and middlemen and, and get to the heart of what the thing you're trying to do and the same is true in a service uh, and so anytime that you're designing um, anytime that you're designing the design uh, artifacts are abstractions and they're super super effective those artifacts but but getting to the core of the thing is is the way that you can make it tractable 